how to install Expose Framework on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Expose Framework on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisite for this video is that you need to be rooted and you need to have Magisk Manager installed. How do you do that? I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of the video. What are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and these are the files which we need. We need Ed Exposed Manager APK, then we need the Magisk Riru Core and we need a special version of Magisk using which we will be able to use Exposed Framework on our Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10 and another thing you need is internet connection on the phone. First thing we're going to do is open file manager, go into APKs and install the edexposed manager APK. Once the APK has installed successfully, we are going to click on open and we are getting a pop-up about being careful and stuff. Well, do not show this message again and click on OK. As you can see, edexposed framework is not installed right now. Now you have two options. On top you have alpha and canary. These are channels for edexposed builds. The alpha channel is mostly stable and canary is, as you can see, it tells you over there that this is unstable build install at your own risk. So we're going to go into the alpha channel and you can choose between two different variants of exposed framework. You can use Sandhook or Yafa. For the purpose of this video, we are going to use Yafa. So we will select Yafa, make sure you're connected to the internet and select install and update. At this point, Ed Exposed wants access to our storage. Click on allow. As you can see, we are getting a pop-up which tells us that are we sure and the fact that we need to install the file manually. We will click on OK. And now it is going to download the Ed Exposed Yafa zip file and this is the path. It is going to be downloaded in the download folder. We'll just click on OK. Wait for the file to completely download. Once that is done, go back to the home screen, open Magisk Manager, three bar menu on the top left and then we'll go into modules. Next, click on the plus sign and then click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show internal storage. If you get the option as hide internal storage, then you don't have to do anything. Next, we will click on the three bar menu on the top left and select our device's name, which is the Redmi K20 Pro. Now here we need to install two Magisk modules. You can install them in any order. The first one we're going to install is the Riru code. I have placed it in the alarms folder. I'll go inside that folder and select Magisk Riru code. Once the installation has finished successfully, we are not going to reboot. We will go back and then click on the plus sign one more time. Three bar menu on the top left, Redmi K20 Pro. And now we need to go into the download folder and select the Ed Exposed Yafa module. So select this module. Once it is done installing, we can click on reboot. Back into Android, we can unlock our device, go into Magisk Manager, three bar menu on the top left, and go into modules. Now here we need to make sure that both the modules, that is Riru Core and Riru Ed Exposed, are installed and activated. How do you know they are activated? You can tell that by the check mark inside the circle. Next, we need to open Ed Exposed. So let me find Ed Exposed. Here it is. We'll open Ed Exposed. And as you can see, Ed Exposed framework is active. Next, we will click on the three bar menu on the top left and go into download and download the custom UIzer exposed module. So we'll search for Custom UIzer. This is the one which we're looking for. Custom UIzer. Select it 
and then we will go into versions this is the latest one at the time of recording this video 2.0.8.1 make sure you connect it to the internet download and install and then we have to allow ed expose to install apks go into settings allow from this source go back click on install and there it is custom uiser has been installed successfully we will click on done click on the back button three bar menu on the top left go into modules and enable custom uiser of course for it to kick in and to work properly we have to reboot our device so the next thing we're going to do is reboot our redmi k20 pro back into android we can unlock our device and we can also drag and drop the custom uiser icon to our desktop or the home screen open the application and as you can see we're getting a warning that it is not active and we are getting this warning because we still haven't installed the special version of magisk which we need so the next thing we need to do is we will turn off our device and boot into to up recovery so once you've turned your device off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo now those of you who are worried about the authenticity or the safety of the modified magisk well it is an open source application and of course the link is in the description of the video so we'll go into install and again you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the modified version of magisk in my case it is in the alarms folder and we are going to select this modified version and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done all we need to do is click on reboot system back into android we can open magisk manager and then three bar menu on the top left go into modules both our modules that is redo core and redo ed exposed are installed and active ed exposed manager three bar menu on the top left go into modules custom uiser is also installed and active and now we can open the application and there it is we are not getting that error message anymore let me try making a change using this module so we can go into the controls section and then go into navigation bar and try changing the long press action for the back button from no action to take a screenshot once you've selected the option check mark button on the top right click it and then we of course need to reboot our device back into android you can unlock our device open ed exposed manager as you can see ed exposed framework is installed and working like a boss long press the back button and bam there it is screenshot was taken which means that the setting which we changed using the custom uiser exposed module worked absolutely fine so there it is peeps that is how you install exposed framework on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro running mi ui 11 based on android 10 and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <music>